The Wisconsin Supreme Court won't hear a long shot case trying to prevent impeachment of the state's newest liberal Supreme Court justice. The court decided Tuesday to not hear the lawsuit that would block any attempt from the state legislature to impeach Justice Janet Protosewicz. Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss has brought up the possibility of impeaching Protosewicz if she does not recuse herself from two redistricting lawsuits. Voss has argued Protosewicz can't fairly hear the cases because she called the current legislative maps, quote, rigged during her campaign. But the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled candidates can express their views while campaigning. Proto Saywitz has not decided whether to recuse herself, and the court has not ruled on if it will hear the cases. A new bill could lead to higher bails for thousands of criminal defendants in Wisconsin. State senators heard testimony on legislation that would require a judge to set bail to at least $5,000 when a defendant has a past bail jumping conviction. The requirement would apply even for nonviolent misdemeanor charges. Statewide data from a 2018 study shows bail jumping is the most commonly charged offense in Wisconsin. The Wisconsin DNR is reminding hunters to test the deer they kill for chronic wasting disease. Officials say that deer can look healthy for months after they've been infected with the disease, so even if it looks healthy, you want to check it before eating venison. CWD is a contagious neurological disease that is fatal for deer, elk, moose, and caribou. Signs of infection include drastic weight loss and drooped head and ears. Although the CDC says there's no strong evidence of CWD in humans, they still strongly advise against eating infected meat. We will have information on where you can get your deer tested posted on our social media platforms. About 80% of the food we eat is thanks to pollinators in nature, but more than 40% of pollinators have disappeared in the last 50 years. Local environmental advocates are launching a major partnership to fight that decline. Those advocates have launched the Mississippi River Operation Pollination Partnership. La Crosse Mayor Mitch Reynolds, National Heritage Areas, members of Rotary International and the Mississippi River Parkway Commission are all combining their efforts. The goal is to educate the public and help restore the pollinator population up and down the mighty Mississippi. If we're gonna survive as the human race, we have to start thinking about all these things that link everything together. Schnick says she's dedicated her life to advocacy ever since her husband died. And now she's also using her own property to extend this cause. She's had a cottage built to help spread awareness and interest in pollinators. The group says you can help pollinators with the plants you put in your own yards. You'll want to use native plants because as pretty as the you know plants, exotic plants from, from Europe or South America or Africa or Asia might be, our native pollinators don't know what to do with them. Yesterday's gathering was the largest of its kind. They hope their message gets pollinated to all communities up and down the river. Glow sticks, costumes, and a festive spirit, you can find it all at the Oktoberfest Torchlight Parade. The first of the major parade of Oktoberfest weekend brought quite a turnout down La Crosse's Gillette and Caledonia Street. North Sider Scott Hendrickson is this year's parade marshal. Years ago, it used to bookend the fest, but he says he hears from so many community members and kids about how much they love the feel of a nighttime parade with glow sticks coloring the streets. Those lights kept on shining for the afterglow party at Copeland Park. If you're heading into lacrosse for today's Tapping of the Golden Keg, Stein Holding Finals, Carnivals, or live music, know that parking may be the most difficult thing you do all day. Lacrosse police say there's a $10 a day parking fee for the parking ramp. Police also want to remind drivers that there's no parking allowed in the new bike lane on 2nd Street. Many more events will be held at the Oktoberfest grounds and around La Crosse today. According to Oktoberfest USA's website, the festival grounds will be open from 9.30 this morning till midnight tonight. The Stein Holding Finals will be held at 10 this morning at the Remainders Garden stage on the fest grounds. The opening ceremony and the tapping of the Samuel Adams Golden Keg will be at 11 this morning and also at the Remainders Garden stage. There will also be more Lederhosen games going on today from 2 till 4 in the afternoon and the carnival at La Crosse's Copeland Park will be open from 4 in the afternoon till 9 tonight. No admission pass is required for that event but you will need to purchase tickets for the carnival rides. 
Viewers excited for Das best time of the year may be wondering, will the Maple Leaf Parade be broadcasted on TV this year? The answer, a resounding yes. News 8 Now will be broadcasting live from the parade route beginning at 10 tomorrow on WQBT Channel 8.2 My Network TV. You can also find a live stream broadcast on News8000.com or on the News8000 Plus app. We hope to see you there. And if you're going to attend the parade or are in the parade, I'd have the rain gear handy uh, just in case because we do have a low end rain chance, especially just to the north of La Crosse at 10 a.m., 71 degrees, 75 halfway through. And then by the end of the parade, already 80 degrees, very summer like day tomorrow. Now this morning, I'm tracking some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms, a few just to the south and uh, east of Rochester and more up towards the Twin Cities. Now these are weakening as they try to track to the east, uh, but still a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms this morning, primarily north and west, otherwise mostly to partly cloudy and warmer, mid to upper 70s. That low end rain chance tomorrow, especially north, otherwise summer like tomorrow through Tuesday, highs in the low to mid 80s. Chance of rain Wednesday and turning cooler later next week, 60s for highs, even some 50s by next Saturday. Well, thank you for watching News 8 Now. Don't forget to keep up with news of the day on News8000.com and we'll have the latest updates to today's top stories on News 8 Now at noon. Have a wonderful Friday, a great weekend, and happy Oktoberfest.